This morning, we have Mr. Stephen Brazil and Jessica Montegudo. They are here with special guests. They are from Extreme Exotics Wildlife Foundation. And you can see we also have, what is the name of our, our speckled owl here? So this is Yeti. Yeti. So we kind of named Yeti that because when we got Yeti, Yeti was just like a big snowball. <laughs> so he's, as he's grown into his adult feathers, he's not as white as the abominable snowman once was. But we're going to keep the name because it's kind of fun and creative for him. <laughs> first, oh, I'm sorry, Robert. But first, tell us about your organization. So basically what we do is a lot of people know me. I've been in Jacksonville for like 20 years. I've had extreme exotics off Phillips Highway. So I was always in kind of the pet industry. And then about five years ago from taking in rescue animals and things like that, that the exotic side of stuff, uh, it was started with a serval cat and it's gone on from there to a little bit of everything. But it made me decide I was going to build this big rescue zoo foundation. We, we honestly, we do a little bit of everything. So we work with a lot of endangered species, a lot of captive breeding programs for other zoos. So we can be able to swap babies out for different bloodlines and stuff because with everything going on in the wild, the only thing saving it is basically people right now because there's not enough, you know, rainforest and everything left for all these animals. Um, do you have like a, a place people can come visit? And so we do. Yeah. Animals? So we opened this place, the Extreme Exotics Wildlife Foundation in St. Augustine. So we have it open seven days a week, but we have it for private tours. So I want it to be an experience for you guys. So I don't want you to be in with 45 people. Like mm -hmm. I want it to be you, a private tour guide, get to meet the animals, see things up close. I mean, We've all gone to zoo a million times and looked at stuff and been like, I wonder if the lion's going to come out today or wonder if this. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of with everything we work with and all these animals we've had around, I can just whistle and call the lynx over and he's going to sit by you so you can, cool. you know, see him for wow. stuff and, you know, interact with some of these animals up close because it was always our point was conservation through education. If you can't see it and touch it and get near some of this stuff, it's really hard to say, I want to save this, but, you know, I want to see what it looks like and know what we're saving. And I know Yeti is not the only one that you all brought. Yeah. So if you want to introduce us to some of the yeah, other yeah. animals. Let me step off set and I'll bring you a couple more <laughs> fun things out. And tell us, what are some of the requirements? If people want to own I exotic animals, what are the requirements? So in Florida, it varies. So there's different classifications for different licenses that you need. A lot of the ones that you can go out and purchase just needs a class three license, which you can um, apply through uh, FWC with. Mm -hmm. But it's not just getting a license, it's getting the experience and the knowledge on what it takes to take care of these exotic animals because it's not like a cat or a dog. Oh, that's amazing. Can I touch the baby sloth? Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh so when you brought him out, I was like, that's a stuffed <laughs> animal. <laughs> I didn't realize there's, there's a baby on top oh, of it. So we borrowed a baby from mom today. He stays on mom. We call him Nitro. Um, but we basically have a big slot that he can hang out on for a few minutes when we have to do filming oh. so he can meet and see everybody. But he's very cute. It took us years. We really wanted to be able to capturably produce a sloth, you know, to get all the requirements and everything right. And he is and, the sweetest little baby. And if people own exotic animals, but then maybe they either grow too big. We've seen it, you know, happen sometimes with snakes. They get too big. Not do not release them into the wild. No, you know. we don't want anything going to wild. I mean, we have taken in hundreds of animals over the years um, in different zoos and organizations have as well. I mean, there's great facilities. I always tell people they can reach out to us. Our shops open seven days a week on Phillips Highway. If people need to walk in with everything, um, you know, we're available at the Extreme Exotic Wildlife Foundation. We have our own, you know, basically 24 hour staff. I, we live on the property, so we always are there to maintain everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, we don't want anything in the wild. I mean, the Everglades has had its problems, but you know, there's plenty of great organizations to help people with stuff. And some people just get in unforeseen circumstances and they need a place for things to go. Oh my goodness. Oh, so what, how old is this little guy right here? So he's six months. He was born, months? born October 15th, yeah. Oh, and you, wow. have, you have a little monkey in there, right? Wow. I do. Let's see if he'll wake up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't want to wake him from his slumber. So incognito there, <laughs> oh too. You don't realize there's a I know, monkey. you would never know. <laughs> And oh, so he word. is. Are you going to come out, little oh, guy? I hear him. Hi. Now, how do you <gasps> come across to, uh, um, oh my goodness, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Hi. He's tiny. So he's about six weeks old. Um, this, he's a cotton top tamarind. He doesn't have a name yet. We just um, got him from a friend of ours. Mm -hmm. But they are actually critically endangered in the wild. There's less than like 5,000 of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, like Robert was saying, how do you come across most of your so, animals? So, like this little baby um, actually didn't get taken care of by his parents and mom dropped him on the ground um, oh. and want to take him back. So, there's things like that where sometimes just animals in captive programs don't survive with the parents because they not everything always understands how to be a mom. Um, you know, we can say the same thing for people because we have to go with their kids. Mm -hmm. So, same thing. That's why we have places like us to take in little things like that that have to be raised from day one around the clock, and, you know, and cared for. And it is, especially on something as critically endangered as these guys. You oh. know, every baby matters. Who is, who is this so guy? So, this is Dude. Dude does a lot of shows and Dude. fun stuff with this. Yeah, he just kind of acquired this name from all the shows. He's super fun. He's a rhino iguana. These guys are actually critically endangered in the wild as well. Um, though you do see a little bit more of them in captivity and they become more of a 
pet for people nowadays because they do actually get a really cool personality to them. They're not kind of like our crazy green iguanas that are running wild everywhere in Florida. How long do they live? So these guys can actually live up to 60, 70 years. Wow, so that's yeah. a commitment. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah. Take so one dude's in. five years, but we do have um, one named Romeo who's 26. Wow. So he was one of the first rescues another facility had took in years ago, but they since retired. So Romeo's living out his better years oh with us. Do you find that being one of the problems Amazing. that you have people getting animals like this that they don't really think it's such a commitment? Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't see it as much as I thought I would for the amount of animals that people do own, which is great. I mean, I want to see people, animals in a home for as long as they can be or their whole life is, you know, ultimate goal. But you do get it. I mean, there's a lot of things. I mean, with COVID and people losing their homes and the money and the economy, I mean, things fall apart and, you know, and animals are expensive and not everybody can, you know, pay to care for this stuff. I mean, I look at the bills it costs to maintain this sometimes and I just go, oh, and, and we're fortunate. I mean, Publix is one of our sponsors. They bring us fresh produce every single day for the animals. So it's mm -hmm. super great. We've had some amazing pool companies coming and build us all kinds of lagoons for our handicapped otters and things like that. So there are also some awesome organizations in the city that definitely help out with everything. So lastly, if people want to check out Extreme Exotics, they want to come do a tour, they want to meet the animals, how can they contact you guys? So multiple ways. Um, I always Some people come into our shop, which like I said, is Extreme Exotics on Phillips Highway. Um, you can also um, call us and book a tour anytime you want to. We have um, Extreme Exotics Wildlife Foundation on Facebook. We have Extreme Exotics Wildlife Foundation on Instagram. Um, Jessica, you want to give them the phone number? Uh, yeah, you can contact 786-795-8246. And then if you follow us on Facebook as well, there's different numbers that you can contact. Oh my gosh, you guys have been like the highlight of my morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. You Thank still you. still have other pets here too. My we do, yeah. Other pets, animals, yeah. Oh, fantastic. And like if anybody does have exotics and they have questions on how to take care of them, they don't want to quite get rid of them, we're always available to answer any questions. Wonderful. You guys so are a great resource. Yeah. So if they want to just reach out and say, hey, we kind of have this, we got this, didn't know what we were getting into and want some advice, we can help with that as well. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming oh, in anytime, so early this absolutely. morning. No worries. And for bringing Dude and, of course, the sloth, the little monkey, the owl. There were some snakes over there we didn't even get to just yet. But we appreciate oh, it. Goodness. <laughs> we'll be right back. Bye. Stay with us.